Getting into the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA is no easy feat. With a 2.2% acceptance rate, UCLA Med School is one of the hardest medical schools to get into. But don't fret, because in this video, we'll explain exactly how to get into UCLA and we'll give you some expert tips to ensure your application stands out. Nadine here with Inspire Advantage, helping students get accepted into medical school and other professional programs. So who did the David Geffen School of Medicine actually accept? Let's dive right into the most recent class profile information so you can compare your stats with the stats of accepted students. Most recently, David Geffen received around 14,000 applications, interviewed roughly 1,000 students, and around 175 students matriculated. Around 77% of the class are science or math majors, and around 20% of the class possess graduate degrees. Looking at academics, the median MCAT score of the class is a 516, the median science GPA is a 3.76, and the median overall GPA is a 3.81. Now that we know the stats of accepted students, let's discuss what you actually need to do to apply. According to their website, candidates will be selected based on these seven considerations. First, you'll need your bachelor's degree and you'll have to demonstrate coursework competencies in biological sciences and physiology, chemistry, biochemistry and physical sciences, humanities, mathematics and statistics. Note that there are no specific course prerequisites for admission. Number two, you'll need to complete the AMCAS application. Number three, you'll need to submit your MCAT score. Number four, you'll need to submit three to five letters of recommendation. Now, your recommenders should be people who know you well and who have spent a significant amount of time with you so they're able to best highlight your personal qualities, interests, achievements, and character. Number four, you'll need to complete the AAMC preview exam. It's important to note that this is a new requirement for the MD program. And five, finally, you'll need to submit your official transcripts and grades. Now, once you've completed and submitted your primary application and paid the application fee, you'll need to be on the lookout for the secondary application. But keep in mind here, UCLA Med School does not send secondary applications to all applicants who apply. Instead, they use your primary application and preview exam as screening devices. If you do receive a secondary application, it's essential that you complete it and send it back as soon as possible. In fact, you have exactly two weeks from the date and time that you received your invitation to send it back. So there's no room to be tardy here. If you're invited to interview, expect to receive your invitation between August and March. Keep in mind that UCLA has historically used the MMI, the multiple mini interview for their interviews, but they've now switched over to one-on-one -on -one traditional interviews. Now, if you don't happen to get an acceptance letter but are waitlisted, that's still a fairly good result. Around 150 students are waitlisted each year at UCLA Medical School, and about a third of them are accepted off the waitlist each year. So there's still a fairly good shot of acceptance from the waitlist. Now let's move right along to determining what the David Geffen School of Medicine is actually looking for from its applicants. According to their website, candidates will be selected based on these six considerations. Number one, your undergraduate record. Number two, your MCAT scores. Number three, your letters of recommendation. Number four, your graduate record where applicable. Number five, your life experiences. So that includes research, volunteer, clinical, your work, leadership, and any publications. Number six, your admissions interview. And number seven, the AAMC preview exam scores. So now that you know how to apply, what accepted students look like, and who David Geffen is really looking for, here are two top tips to help you stand out in the application process and secure your acceptance at UCLA Med School. First, you'll want to participate in meaningful research experiences if research is something that you're interested in. Research is really valued at UCLA. According to their most recent MD class profile information, 97% of accepted students have research and or lab experience. One of the best ways to secure a research position is to have a conversation with your professors. They could be looking for a student to help them with an upcoming project, and even if they don't have any opportunities to offer you, they can easily refer you to other staff members who might. You can also try navigating through your university's website. Many schools actually have a student job board that could host these research opportunities. You could also check out the summer programs that are offered, where you could be paired with a mentor and you could gain research experience that way. Outside of university, you could also consider looking for internships at laboratories or research facilities. What's important here is that you can show commitment and dedication to your research projects when selecting research opportunities. Make sure that you're only participating in opportunities that are in line with your actual interests and your passions. The next tip that I want to give you is to ensure that you prepare in advance for the AAMC preview exam. UCLA Med School is one of only a handful of medical schools that require 
prepare the test and use it in their admissions process. According to their website, your preview scores reflect your understanding of pre-professionalism and your potential to learn and develop pre-professionalism skills. Higher scores reflect a higher level of understanding. So it's really imperative to prepare for this test to ensure that you can do your best on test day. Just to give you a quick overview, during the test, you'll be presented with situations and options for how you could respond. Your responsibility will be to rate each response on a scale of one to four, with one being least effective, two is ineffective, three being effective, and four being very effective. As a tip to best rate these responses, make sure that you read them carefully and think about whether or not the response is one, non-judgmental, two, addresses the vulnerable party, and three, is ethically and legally acceptable. Use this as your parameter for rating each response and try not to let your own biases or judgments come into play. Well, thanks for tuning into this video on how to get into the David Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for all the latest and greatest on the med school application process. Cheers to your success.